Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our plant room. So we are starting to see things sprouting. I'm not the best at watering them, so we gotta get better at that. So we're down here to water the plants today. And yeah, so we're just gonna take you along. Sorry we've been a bit away for the last couple of weeks. We've just been trying to organize what we're gonna be doing this year on the farm over summer. So things have been a little slow, but we're ready to pick it back up. So you should start seeing a lot more videos from us every week and take you kind of through just what we're doing every day. So you can kind of just follow along and uh, see how we're doing everything around the farm. <laughs> so this morning I've woken up, the kids are up, still in their PJs, and we are watering the plants while my husband goes out to do the animals, like open them up and give them their water. And then we'll be having breakfast and seeing what the day brings. So come along. So our plants are feeling a little bit of the neglect. So hopefully they'll perk up and hopefully they'll be okay. Um, come planting time in about three weeks, they'll be able to go outside and be okay. So we're in the garden and we are getting ready to plant some wheat. So I'm just kind of leveling out the ground. Uh, we're going to put in our wheat seeds here and then we will be able to make our own flour, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. So come along. I'm just going to stick you guys on a time lapse and you can see what we're up to. So we are finally done planting all our wheat. We have three rows. So we got row one and row two and row three. So what else we're going to be growing here is probably our coin, probably our corn or our soy and possibly even both along here because I don't have a lot of soy seeds. So um, it will probably fill up the rest of the space with corn and soy. All right, so we're going to go see how the husband's doing. Hey, Harrison. Hi. There's like a garbage something. Harrison, garbage coming. I don't know what it is. Something plastic. Oh, it's like another, I don't know. Garbage. <laughs> Let's go see how they're doing in the barn. Uh, we're putting the blades on the tractor and taking the snow blade off. So let's go see. So we have little tractor boo. He is. Ready to mow the lawn. Yep. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so we're just taking the snow blade off that really didn't work out as well as we'd hoped this winter. Um, and just getting the mowing blades back on because we're getting green grass and stuff and we've got some places we need to uh, kind of mow down and clean up and so we can then you know till the soil and get new stuff growing uh, so i gonna hit a uh, big patch of uh, thistle from last year get that chewed up and then we're gonna till it and get some alfalfa growing instead because it grows quick and that should hopefully kill the thistle um, <clears throat> So that's the plan. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Harrison! <laughs> Ooh. Is your brother weird? It's not me! Not you? Our tree 
Taylor here. We're going to be moving over into this other field. Uh, we have some visitors coming and they're going to be kind of staying over here. But we also need to clean it up so that, you know, it's not just a pile of grass and seed and whatever the heck is going on over there. So that's our next kind of project <laughs> for the day. So we're kind of running all over the place. All right, so we're in the other field and this is pretty much where the trailer is going to go. But so it has this lovely view of our property and our water. So I don't know if you guys can see, but kind of right in here where it's all kind of got all that sticks. That was all thistle and with the thistle, it was really thick and we don't want it. So as Adam had said a moment ago, we're just gonna mow it down as much as possible. And we're gonna till it up and we're gonna end up putting in alfalfa. Now alfalfa grows faster than thistle does and we'll end up hopefully smothering it out, but at least starting to kill it off. And then we can just kind of keep mowing it and making sure that it doesn't get time to seed and we will hopefully over the years get rid of it bit by bit. Uh, we, if we keep tilling it up too, um, the roots being exposed will also help kill it off. So that's what we're doing right now. He's just going around mowing because we've got so much grass. We're mowing down really low so that we get a good low cut going on. So yeah, so you can watch that while we work on it. excited to start planting some things in here. It won't be anything too exciting. Maybe some meadow plants. Some meadow seeds so that'll be nice. It's got flowers and things in it and that'll be good for kind of having... Ooh, you guys are so low. What's happening here? <laughs> that'll be really nice for our garden here and we're just making it nice and pretty for our guests because it's where they're going to be staying so we got a lot of cleanup to do. And yeah, I'm really happy with what that soil's looking like underneath. You know, time will tell them how it is, but it's a good start. It's not dry, it's not clay, it's lovely, fluffy dirt. Round and round and round he goes. <laughs> so we have the blades on the lowest setting and we want to mulch as much as possible. This property hasn't been mowed or looked after very well for the last couple of years. Uh, spaces that nobody was using was just ignored. So we've got multiple years of growth on our fields here and you can definitely tell because you have the fresh stuff with all the dead layers underneath and it's really hard to get through so um, it's nice to really kind of get out here and mow it right down so we can just keep on top of it in our spaces that we're using a lot of the time and you know we can borrow some cows for the other areas but we're hoping to make some of our own hay too this year so that'll be an experiment and here it comes through again <laughs> when the tractor dies. <laughs> Yeah, so we're getting a lot of really good mulch. I believe I said dirt or soil earlier, but 
Uh, we're getting some really nice mulch out here. See it? It's looking so much better. It was like this. Now it's like this. And it's really awesome because we're chopping down all those old thistle patch and just really digging it in and it's going to be some really nice mulch to start the beginnings of some really nice soil and stuff down the road. So And yeah, so this is all mowed now and it's looking a little perfect. We're going to put our trailer here facing that way. So that'll be southwest and then we're going to put a little deck out there for the family to kind of sit outside the trailer and hang out outside. And yeah, so my husband's going to come back out. So Adam's going to mow all this next. So that's his next project. All right, guys. So we are outside and we are heading out to just see how far Adam's got with the uh, uh, mowing <laughs> that he's doing. It's windy, so I've put my scarf on so I can get not so much wind on my ears because a lot of wind on my ears hurts my ears. So here we go. The dogs are going crazy. But we'll be out of their space in a minute. So I think I found where he's been working. It's been here. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, we'll walk up and see what we find. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice day. It's a little windy though. Mm -hmm. Alright, so while he works on that, we are going to go into the barn and see the animals. And we'll go see what other animals we see. I'm going to insert a little clip uh, here now of us seeing the frogs in the pond the other day. And then, yeah, come see the other animals with us. So we've got Nina. You can see all our chickens kind of just free running around. Let's go see those ladies. So you'll see our uh, puppy dogs up there. They'll just watch us because they can't go any further. We've got radio collars on them. So if they get too close, they start to beep and then they run away so they don't go through the beeping fence <laughs> so let's go see the ladies here hey chickens what you doing chickens are you tormenting the roosters hey chip <laughs> So we moved the roosters into the old chicken coop uh, just because they were kind of overwhelming the girls. Uh, they're starting to kind of molt and we just didn't want them to kind of over pluck them with all their, you know, chicken doing. So we are putting the roosters in here for now. So we have all four boys in there and they get along fine. They all grew up together um, and they're all doing really well. And then the rest of the chickens are housed in our barn here, but they let themselves out and they go wander wherever the hell they want to do because they're the ladies and that's what they do. So let's go into the barn and see who's left in there. So those of you that remember the three that we hatched, that's these three guys right here. <laughs> Oh, they know their safe space. <laughs> hey, chick, 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 chicks. Hey, chick, chicks. Yeah. So they are doing really well. They're growing really nicely. And getting nice and big. Okay, so the chickens are doing really well. That what they're doing is they're kind of running around and doing their own thing. They do stick together, but 
it takes some time to find their other friends, but they all get along. We haven't seen any issues with any of the original chickens kind of picking on them or anything. And we haven't seen any issues with uh, them not settling with them. So they all roost together and they all hang out together. And that's good to see. They still stay in their group because that's who they hatched with. Um, and you'll see that with each of the groups of chickens that we have. But they do well. Can you guys stop eating my tripod? Goats. But <laughs> What the? <laughs> Daisy! Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Yes, you are. You're crazy. You're crazy. Are you trying to tell me otherwise? You're not crazy? I think you're crazy. Oh my goodness. Woo, Duke. They are so silly. Go. Let's go find some cats. Hey. Okay, you gonna walk? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. No, uh, me. Yeah, you. No, uh, go. Yeah, go. Find the kittens. There's no. Nina. Go. Yeah. So, hi, Nina and other kittens. This is something we haven't shown you guys. So, in here, we opened up, opened up a lot of the fences. Yes, I know. What? Yeah, just a second, okay? So in here, we opened this up. So there was, a well, pretty much all those gates against the wall. So we've taken those down. This one is like for the cows to go in if they're getting medicated or whatever you need to do with the cows. And this is the other stall pieces that were up. So we took those down because they were easy to remove. Uh, this one, however, will take a lot of time. And these are pretty much welded into the floor. But what we don't worry about, we don't mind the hallway ones being there. But we're getting this ready to start cleaning up. We wanna clean down the walls and repaint and kind of start making this nice. We're gonna keep this stall here because it's nice and secure for whatever animal we might need to isolate so if we need to put goats in here or chickens this is also the warmer end of the barn so this will be nice for that purpose um this is still like the cat section and then over here i want to put a station so that i can do the uh goat hooves and everything i'm um, a lot better and we're also going to be placing in um what do you call it we're gonna put a chicken box in here for all the new chickens so we've got a lot of kind of things happening in a lot of different places and it's nice seeing this opened up but it will be so much nicer once we clean it and get some better lighting in here the camera on the phone brightens it up but it is dull in here and i mean i've got my shades on too so it seems a bit darker but i got the getting some extra light in here will be wonderful um and it'll just make it so much easier to kind of work in here especially during winter when it's really dark and we don't have you know the door open bringing in tons of light so that'll be good <laughs> something else you'll know um well you won't know but <laughs> if you guys have been watching us you'll know uh that our hay is kept in the that's just a second we'll go over there a hay is kept in the barn over there uh, in winter when it's all full of snow it's really hard to kind of really get all that stuff over here right so we want to kind of build kind of like a station here somewhere where it will hold all our hay and straw for our animals so we don't have to travel so far and we can just pick it up like right here and bring it straight into the barn right here which would be so nice. Oh, hey guys, you see the lake? It's so pretty. It's only like a third of it, but the water level's going down a little bit, which is nice. Like after all the snow swamped out in a lot of places and it's slowly going down. Um, you know, it doesn't dry out over summer. So it's an always lake, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, we did see some baby fish. So not sure what fish they are. Uh, 
from my research it says that usually they uh, stock ponds and stuff with trout. I don't know if it's stocked. I don't know if there's fish in it. Yeah, let's go. We can walk and talk. Well, I don't know if there's fish in it or if there's anything that's, you know, we could catch and eat. I think uh, when my family comes over, they might try to fish it and see if they catch anything. But there are a lot of baby fish. Um, it'll be really cool if it's rainbow trout. But well, we'll wait and see. It could just be like little minnows or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell when they're like small and I haven't really had a good look at what the fry look like. So I can't really say what type of fish it is. So we shall see. I'm looking forward to seeing if we can swim it. Uh, try and get us some floats out there uh, in the summer when it's nice and hot and seeing how that goes as well. And yeah, so I think this is pretty much it for the day. Uh, we've pretty much done our chores. Once we've done this, we'll be going in for dinner and that'll be it. Um, he's almost done. Annika, where are you going? He's almost done there. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right, well have a lovely day. Happy Mother's Day for those that celebrated this weekend. And we'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Yes, it bye.